Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce Scenarios. So guys, today we'll be discussing about the very amazing topic in Salesforce related to my series which I have launched previous week that is reports and dashboards in Salesforce. So today we'll be covering the second part of my series that is report type in Salesforce. So this topic is seriously very interesting because if you want to create some kind of custom report types, right, then we can create the report types in Salesforce and according to that, we can fetch the data and accordingly we can showcase those data into the form of dashboards as well, right? So I'll be going to my slide. So first question came in a particular mind is that what is report types in Salesforce? So a report type defines the set of records and fields available to a report based on relationship between a primary object and its related object. So let's say we will be having the example of account. Account will be the primary object and all the secondary objects are contact, opportunity, cases. So that's how we'll be having that scenario. And second point will be reports displayed only records that meet the criteria defined in the report type. So whatever criteria we'll be defining in the report type, right? So only that report will be displaying on that report chart, right guys? So now we'll be moving into my second slide that is limits of report types. There are certain more number of limits of report types, but still I have chosen some of the points and I'll be sharing the document link as well in my description from where I have taken all these points, right? That is the amazing Salesforce documentation help document that is very valuable for you guys. Okay. So first point we'll be coming on. You can add up to thousand fields to each custom report type. A counter at the top of the page layout step shows the current number of fields, right? What current number of fields we have in the report types? If you have too many fields, you cannot save the layout. Whatever layout you have created, if you have too many fields, then you are not able to save that layout, right? Second will be the a custom report type can contain up to 60 object references, right? For example, if you select the maximum limit of four object relationship for a report type, then you could select fields via lookup from an additional 56 objects, right? Let's say if you are creating a record type with four different objects, and if you want more fields to be inculcated in your reports, then you can add all those fields via help of lookup from the additional 56 objects. Reports on feed activities do not include information about system generated posts such as feed, track chain, that is one of the important point. Custom report types name support up to 50 characters. If you enter a name that is longer than 50 character, the name gets truncated. That is the standard functionality and out of box functionality of Salesforce. Now fifth point will be custom report types description supports up to 255 characters, right guys, only 255 characters. If you enter a name that is longer than 255 character, the name gets truncated. So because in custom report type, the description field will be the mandatory field. So you have to add something in that description field, right guys. So those are some of the limitations and I'll be sharing you the description link as well as I have discussed with you guys previously, right. So again, very important thing about custom report type is when you delete a custom report type, right? Any report based on it are also deleted. Let's say you have created custom report type accounts with contacts with opportunities. So whenever you are deleting that custom report type, right? So automatically what all reports you have generated based out on that custom report type, you guys will not be able to see <clears throat> those reports. And when you are moving to the dashboard, then you guys will be having some kind of error message when you are going to the particular dashboard and view dash dashboard component, right? So that is one of the more important thing I want to say you guys. So now we'll be having a live demonstration. So again, I'll be jumping into my Salesforce org and just for your purpose what all report types are how can we create the report types and how we can justify the report types and what is the procedure and what all things we need for configuration in the form of report type how we can do right right so i'll be jumping into the quick find box typing their report type here we go with the report type
so yes you guys whenever you are going into the quick find box and typing report types you guys will be having that what is custom report type here the definition means a lot custom report types allow you to build a framework in the report wizard from which user can create and customize report whatever they want you build custom report types off of the relationship master detail and lookup between objects so that you can choose which object to be displayed to user creating and customizing report right second point will be define the relationship between the objects displayed and the users creating and customizing the reports right and third point will be select which objects fields can be used as a column in reports whatever you want right so i'll be hitting on continuing the button so here we go on the palette there is one of the report type created automatically there now i have to create the custom report type so i want to hit on the new custom report type button right from here here is the primary object means specify what type of a re records rows will be focus of report generated by these report type right example if reporting on contact with opportunity with partner select contact as a primary object so for my scenario today we will be taking account as a primary object let's say i'll be taking account as a primary object what is the report type label name let's say account with contacts with opportunities right now description that is the important and we can add the description up to only 255 characters that is mandatory part and guys there is also a good habit to add the description to every report type so that if a third person is coming into your org and he wants to see what report type has created in the org then he can able to know easily that yes this is a particular report type and for what purpose we have created this report type right guys so what will be the category we have to store in so let's say we have different different categories i'll be adding in the other reports this report as a category form and guys that is a deployment a report type with deployed status is available for use in report wizard right while in development report types are visible only to the authorized administrator and their delegates that is one in the important information right sometimes in whenever we guys are doing deployment if our report type is in development state then we cannot be able to deploy that report type whenever we are adding that report type into the chain set we will we guys will get the error message but yes when a report type is deployed then we can be able to easily deploy that report type in the production org or in the pre-production org easily right so i'll be hitting on next so here we go this is a palette in this palette what we have we have the custom report type name this report type will generate reports about accounts you can define which related records from the other objects are returned in report results by choosing a relationship to another object right so what i'll be doing is that accounts here i'll be taking the object as contacts right so if there is a to b relationship each a record must have at least one related b record right so this is a we can also represent this with the help of venn diagram this is a means each a record must have at least one related b record let's say x opportunity x account is there sorry x account is there then one contact is there at least right for that particular account now if we click if i click on this a record may or may not have related b records right so what we can do is that that is particularly saying a records may or may not have related b records this a record every a record will be there let's say if one two particular accounts are there account one and account two account one is having the contact record account two is not having the contact record right so that record also came in the report right guys so yes we'll be taking that as the thing 
now i'll be relating another object that is let's say we'll be taking the opportunities so yes now b to c relationship b records may or may not have related c record may or may not it can be or it may not be right that option we have right here so i'll be hitting on save button my report type is generated now right so whatever combination i have created i have there in this palette object relationship now if i want to edit the layout then i can hit on this particular edit layout button and automatically i can be able to view that this is a counter total fields in the layout is 151 right and if you want to add new section as well then i can be able to add the new section first section is related to account second section is related to contacts what all fields are there and third section is related to opportunities right guys so we have one section that is particularly on the right hand side that is legend in this if this is the color then not in the page layout this is the color used in the page layout like that if i want to select this now this is a particular selected check by default add via lookup means a point which i am talking about is that if all those fields are not in the layout and if i want to add all other fields not related to these objects then i can fetch those fields with the help of this add via lookup field right whatever field i want from the other objects right guys so yes that is a particular page layout we have so if i want to preview the page layout i hit on preview the page layout and automatically i can be able to preview this page layout here itself as well what all are the fields right that is the additional auto box functionality given by salesforce so let's say if i'll be saving this particular report type i hit on save button right so my record type report type with uh, account when context with opportunity is created now so what i have to do now i'll be again moving to reports reports here opening this report in the new tab right so if i want to create the new report type i'll hit on just this new button new report here we will get all the information whatever reports we are creating whatever reports we have we will be having all the information here right so yes these are some of the standard report types accounts contacts and accounts accounts with partners accounts with account teams account with contact roles account with assets all these stuff is there and what all are the categories we have there itself so i have added that thing in my category other reports so yes that is the report type we have created account with contacts with opportunities i'll be hitting on continue here so yes we'll be having a new report with us accounts with contacts with opportunities here itself so there are some of the fields here if i want to add more fields what i can do is that here from the field outlines we have all the related fields that 59 related fields with accounts i can be able to add all those fields as well and 53 fields related to contacts i can be able to add those fields as well and 35 fields related to opportunities so whatever any kind of report i want to create i can add all those fields right from here itself right guys so the session the main purpose of the session is today how we can create the custom report type to fetch the different different information in the form of report so that we can be able to showcase that data in the form of dashboard itself that is the board eye level view right guys so yes thank you very much guys for bear with me up till the end i'll be coming up with the more videos on this particular topic itself reports and dashboard in salesforce and in the upcoming videos you guys can be able to understand all the basics of reports and dashboards in salesforce right guys so thank you very much have a great day please like share and subscribe my channel and after 500 subscriber i'll be throwing a giveaway with some of the swags related to salesforce itself 
like those will be some of the surprises for you guys so please like share and subscribe my channel